Uh, excellent. Well, from the from older Londoners, uh, we're going to move down to the Lon- lo- the younger Londoners now. Um, and what I'm going to talk about is to uh, quickly update you uh, as to how we've been getting on with uh, our tadpoles program. I spoke about this for those of you who are at the forum last year. I, I mentioned it. Uh, a couple of quick um, things to say at the at the beginning. Uh, none of what we do with, with the tadpoles and with the younger Londoners would be possible without uh, Tideway. So I have to thank them. And I'm going to name the people I work with because I've been working with, with Tideway now for two years. So um, uh, Kelly, Liz, uh, Monica and Shireen. Uh, but most, uh, most importantly, John Sage, who's been really pivotal in uh, the tadpoles program getting off the ground. So I just thought I'd name them all. A little warning, there will be lots of photos of me. It's not because I am full of myself. Um, it's because I can't help it because they're normally taken by other people of me doing stuff on the foreshore so don't worry um, so what, we, what we're going to talk about uh, really quickly uh, we're gonna, I'm going to just go over some reflections uh, from the last year what the aims of the group are uh, who the tadpoles we're, 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 we're having coming along are uh, what we've been doing this year some of the field work we've been doing and then uh, what our kind of plans are for the year going ahead I thought this was probably the best reflection po- picture because we're all looking down at something. Um, so the tadpoles group has been a key part of uh, the partnership between uh, with TDP and MOLA and Tideway. Um, when we originally ran the programme, we ran three sessions um, at, de- at various sites in London. And these were norm- what we did was we decided to attach these to um, uh, our existing field work. What we found very quickly was um, that didn't really attract a consistent group and, and actually didn't attract huge numbers. So we very quickly had realised that we had to kind of change what we did. And I spoke a bit about this um, last year. So what? So it, 2016, 2017 was really useful for me, certainly, in, in working out uh, what we're doing. So we kind of went back to basics. We went back to um, the start and... Uh, what the tadpoles was supposed to be all about. Uh, so the main ideas are these. We want to infuse children and young people about foreshore archaeology. We can speak, we, quite regularly we speak to rooms like this full of adults who love the archaeology of the foreshore. But we need to get younger people infused so in a few years time they will be coming along to foreshore forums like this. So that's the main name. We also want to practically train and equip uh, them with archaeological skills. So we want them to be able to go out and do practical archaeology. Um, we, we want them to give, give them an opportunity to take part in some field work which doesn't cost them anything. There are so many things that parents have to spend money on these days. Um, get, taking children off to some site in the middle of nowhere probably can be quite prohibitive. So if you can give them some field work on the doorstep for free. That's a great uh, thing as well. And the final one really is that we have uh, a way to get young people into the, into the frog. There's a reason we call them tadpoles. They're the little versions of you guys. Um, so the aim is that as they get to 18, they'll be able to come and join in with, frog, with, with regular frog field work as well. Uh, so who are they? There was at least one of them in the room earlier, as, as, as Nat pointed out. Um, we have about 41 uh, people registered with us at the moment. Um, they range in age from 8 years old to 18, just about. Um, but 9 of those are under the age of 10. So we've got more, more of them are over 10 than, than under 10 at the moment. Uh, they come from 17 London boroughs uh, and two local authorities outside of London. Uh, which is really great because it's given us a huge um, kind of breadth of where people are coming from. Most of them come from boroughs by the river, which is even better because they're already connected with the river. Uh, and we've had a strong core of, of, of between 10 to 12 tadpoles who've regularly come uh, along to sessions. And two of them have attended every set of events we've run, which for me is great. Uh, and it's absolutely fantastic. Um, and as part of, of that, uh, they're, regular, they're signing off skills in, in the, their own skills passport. So they're not just 
coming along, they're actually getting something out of it. So what have we been doing? Um, in January and February, we ran two uh, indoor sessions at Mortimer Wheeler House, um, at our offices. Um, this was basically intended to be like a mini frog training. Um, so m almost everything they did, if you're a frog, you've done it before. So they had a go at doing the map progression ex exercise. They had a go at practicing um, how to, to plan objects using the grid and the bits of, of timber and whalebone that Elliot brings around for every frog training. So they had that, that inside, uh, that kind of based inside where it's warm uh, start to the year. Uh, and then between March and August, we've done a series of uh, fieldwork visits uh, to the site at Custom House in the City of London. So we did five uh, fieldwork days. So we got them down on the foreshore doing some practical archaeology. Uh, and kind of mixed in between that, we also visited other foreshore sites to see what is going on there. We also managed to arrange those quite often when there were there was frog field work or at least frog, at least monitoring sessions so that the tadpoles could not only see you guys doing uh, the archaeology but kind of feel part of uh, a kind of you know it doesn't feel like two separate groups it's one thing um, so this is uh, this is the the tadpoles having a go at um, planning uh, various objects uh, you can see we've got the heater on full blast there <laughs> because even though we were inside it was the coldest room it's the coldest room in the office so it stays very cold uh, so there they are having a go uh, at that uh, this is us at um, Greenwich we went down um, some of the Greenwich frog were down as well I know Martin was there that day um, and they had a look they had a look at some of the objects you find but they also got to have a good look at the jetty and kind of understand the, the role of the jetty on that site uh, and this is them under Billingsgate uh, Wharf so at the custom house site um, just before they got started doing some field work so we kind of introduced them to the site uh, and walked them around the site the interesting thing to note about these pictures is most times we ran sessions we had parents coming and the parents are, all, are just as interested in what we're doing as the kids. Sometimes a little bit more interested in some cases, <laughs> which is really interesting. So I think we're, we're perhaps getting a nice little avenue and recruiting some more frogs from the parents of our tadpoles as well, which is fantastic. Um, so Custom House, we were kind of, at the, at the end of last year, we were kind of thinking, where can we take the tadpoles? It's a nice, easy, easily accessible site that they can look at. And we kind of, we kind of plumped for, for, for Custom House uh, because it's nice and central. It's got easy access on the stairs um, and it's, you know, it's quite nice. You can see Tower Bridge and everything. It's lovely. Um, it's also really nice because it's one of the first sites that um, TDP did frog training at as well. So it's a nice kind of symmetry there. Um, as you know, it's between Billingsgate and the Tower and there's a, some ni there's a nice collection of, of, of features there relating to the operation of the Custom House. So there was actually archaeology already visible that they could have a go at. Uh, and we haven't done as much field work there in recent years um, as, as we have at other places. So we can keep, more, it's a good place to kind of come back to. So what did they do? So we did, we did two days uh, of field work in April, three in May. And we focused uh, on, on the structure you can see in this picture, the gridiron, um, which is some very long bits of timber uh, kind of ar arranged uh, all, they're all parallel to one another uh, and it's obviously for a for barges uh, related to the custom house to sit on um, so the main focus uh, of what we did was what you can see the, the tadpoles doing here was was planning so rather than kind of do a massive offset plan we got what we've got them to do is to record uh, the tip plan the timbers individually and they're quite long they're, 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 they're about two, uh, four, four or five meters long so they're quite big things to plan but actually, it's quite remarkable when you, when you give them a bit of training and then get them out and doing it, uh, it's quite remarkable how quickly young people get, get the hang of it. Um, and on t alongside that, we've looked a bit about how much um, the gridiron um, has been eroding as well, which is quite, a, quite interesting. So we're going to kind of try and keep monitoring that. But what I want to show you, this is a photo of some of the work and 
Now I feel really, this is when I get to feel really proud of them. Because like, you know, my, my, my archaeological background, I didn't go to university, I, I trained, uh, trained with, with a commercial company. Uh, and I would have struggled to do stuff like this after a couple of goes. But they've done it brilliantly. And this, I've got a whole pile of permatrace in my, in, on my desk of the stuff they've done. And it's really, really good. Um, and I, I'm, this is when I, you know, and they've, they've done a fantastic job. And sometimes in not very nice weather. We're enjoying lovely weather now, but in May it was kind of a bit grim. So they, they did a really good, really good job. So, uh, looking forward, uh, as always, um, we... <coughs> We're really pleased to say that Tideway have, have, have generously provided us with two more years of funding for our work with younger Londoners, um, which is fantastic, uh, which means we can do tadpoles for two more years, which is, you know, uh, and we can do some of our school stuff and some of our other community events will, be, will continue running, which is fantastic. Um, so we're going to, the aim is we're going to continue to work at our site at Custom House. We're going to try and get that whole gridiron properly recorded. Uh, and we're going to look at some of the other features on the uh, on the foreshore there and try and get them better recorded. We're going to recruit new tadpoles um, to complement the existing group. So alongside alongside retaining the group we've got at the moment, uh, we're going to look to, to get some other people on board, train them up, get them doing stuff on the foreshore. So you never know, it's this time next year, I might be talking to you about two sites we're working at. That's, you know, we'll, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself there, but that's what I'm hoping. The other thing we're looking to do is forge some really close links with the existing YAC, young archaeologist groups in um, uh, in London, working more closely with them, working with their members to get them trained up in doing foreshore archaeology. Um, and also, this is something that I think would be really cool, is to, to write up some of the stuff we... Well, not me, write it up. Them, the tadpoles, I mean, write it up. To give them opportunities to do a bit of um, research and further reading into the stuff they're doing. Um, so it's not all about adults writing up archaeology. Maybe we can get some kids writing up archaeology, you know, because it's, it's stuff we can all do. Um, and, but we, I can't do, all do it myself as much as I'd like to. Um, so if you know anyone, anyone aged between 8 to 18, who you think would be really interested uh, in doing foreshore archaeology, drop me an email. And if you, guys, would like to help us out, we've had really great support. Franklin uh, and Lana and Sylvia and Liz have all come down to help with sessions, and that's been really great to get frogs c coming down and working with the tadpoles. So if you want to help out in any of the work we're doing, please drop me a line. We'd love to have you. You don't have to come every time. You know They don't bite. They're very polite young young kids, so it'd be great to have more more links with the frogs uh, and the tadpoles. Uh, and finally, thank you. There they are. <laughs>